Welcome back YouTube and today we're going to unbox 2009 Ichiban Kuji Dragon Ball Kai S Prize Piccolo. As you can see the box here sitting on the table is massive just like the figure. What's great about this line is that most of the figures that were released during this line were massive as well. A lot different from the Ichiban Kuji prizes that come today. Typically nowadays you only get maybe one or two very large prizes whether it be a Broly or a last prize. I wish they made all of the figures the same size as these ones nowadays, but yeah, I guess uh, beggars can't be choosers. But nonetheless, we're gonna take a large figure and set it next to this Piccolo. We'll uh, compare the sizes. We'll do a little bit of review, measure it, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's go, let's check this thing out. So what I've done is I've taken the new Ichiban Kuji, well not the newest, but this is the the second to the newest, the Omnibus Vegeta Uzaru, last prize, and I think most of you know how, how big this thing is, but check out this Piccolo next to him, man, it's massive, right, so that's crazy, so just putting it next to... The Ozaru for size comparison. Um, but folks, this is the last prize. So keep that in mind. So this thing is, is huge. So let's spin him around a little bit. So you guys can see him full circumference. Now we can get a close up. Here's a close up of his face. He's got, his face is really well made, man. He's got a good expression. Really captures the, uh, the uh, typical piccolo look. And uh, he's got kind of, if you notice, he's got kind of a shine to him. The his clothing and uh, his his cape here has some good uh, detail to it and shading, so it's got kind of like a like a bluish shading. And man, I think his his cape it really makes this figure because it's huge. Let's flip it around here. It's got really good detail to it, like uh, he's standing and the wind's kind of blowing. Somewhat of a, a action pose. Yeah. And then, if you take a look at his base, um, this line came out with quite a few figures that had a, a, a brown base as well, as along with the uh, the this smoke or this yellow smoke or clouds or 
whatever you want to call it. And it's really nice. Let's flip it over to the bottom. We'll take a look at the uh, the bottom of the base. It's got that kind of cross uh, waffle type base, like all the other uh, the genuine bases that they have. If you look really closely, there's the uh, the band Presto stamp. So if you guys are wondering about if there's any knockoffs or anything like that, you guys can look for the stamp right there, and that's how it that's how it should look. And it should definitely have this uh, cross right here on the base. Now, I looked up this figure, and it says that there were about a thousand of these made. So I mean, it's not extremely rare, but that's really not a lot of of figures, you know, especially because it was made in Japan. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the other Uzaru. That came up during that time. And you can see the similarities. You can see the similarities because the base is basically the same uh the same style. It's the same color. It's got the same yellow, yellow-ish uh, smoke or or uh, fog around it, as you can see. And uh, the paint on both figures is very similar as well. Because if you look at the pants, there's like a there's like a shine, a certain type of shine on both of the uh, the pants there. So. Yeah, I'm telling you, this line, this line was amazing. So we'll go ahead and get in here and measure it as well. So, pull it off of this. This one is going to be about 11 inches from the table to the top of his head. Alright fam, so that was the real quick review of the 2009 uh, Ichiban Kuji uh, Dragon Ball Kai Piccolo. Um, as you can see man, uh, like we showed earlier, it's a huge figure. I don't have a lot of Piccolo figures, but out of the few that I have, this is definitely my favorite. Um, and I've seen a lot of them out there. Um, I'm not a huge Piccolo guy, but I would say that this figure is definitely a must-have for any real Dragon Ball collector. Um, I'd definitely give it a 10 out of 10 if I was rating it on a scale. But yeah, man. Um, there it is. So... If you guys have any questions, um, leave them down below. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some more reviews of older type figures like this, um, just because I don't see very many of them on YouTube or or in the any internet at all. Um, so if, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, if you like the video, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for supporting Random Right. I really do appreciate it. Been getting a lot of views on my videos, so. That's pretty kick-ass. Um, when I first started collecting, uh, this is one of the figures that I, that I had my eye on, but it was really tough to find at the time. There, I've been seeing them all over the place now. Well, I wouldn't say all over the place, at places that I look, which not too many people would look for. Um, but back when I was looking for this, uh, my friend Ian Tanaka, thank you, Shouts to uh, my boy Ian Tanaka. Um, he found this at a random store and it was on a shelf by itself and he called me and asked me if I wanted it so I had to scoop it up. So thanks again to uh, my boy Ian Tanaka. Um, yeah man, so uh, if you guys uh, if you guys like what you see man, let me know. Um, if there's anything different that you'd like to see, also let me know. Uh, but 
as always, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I appreciate your support. And um, we'll see you in the next video. All right. Smash Mob. Zoltan out.